Um, I subscribe to this uh, Swiss service, uh, which is not free, um, uh, which allows you to query uh, any uh, information about uh, movies and TV series and whatnot. Uh, and um, and the not Siri. Go away, Siri. Uh, and so, so the URLs look something like this. Uh, it's the URL of the of the uh, of the domain, uh, and then you can query if you know the ID of a um, of a particular movie, right? The IMDb ID. Um, it returns a an object uh, that rep that has data about that particular movie, right? Uh, or you can also um, query it. You can just search uh, for a title. Um, I forget if it's S or Q. Uh, so for it's Batman. Okay, so there it is. So it returns uh, all the matches for Batman, right? And uh, it returns by default. It returns ten at a time, right? And but then you can query, you know, the next ten, the next ten, the next ten. Tells you how many there are. It gives you a meta information at the top saying there's 334 matches. Here are the first 10, right? And then you can ask for more. The next 10, page one, page two, page three, and you can do pagination, right? And you can you can say also the size of the page as well. I want 20 at a time or five at a time. Uh, so let's play around with this uh, with this a little bit. Uh, what I'd like to be able to do is is do this from an Angular application, okay? Right. So. So let's, let's create a component uh, that would allow me to uh, retrieve some information from, from IMDB. Okay? Uh, so, so let's stop the, um, uh, here and uh, let's uh, uh, go into source uh, and app uh, and uh, create here, I uh, already created an OMDB test. Um, if you go into OMDB test here, um, we create. I created a, a component that would allow me to play around with this uh, API. All right, and, and the component. Um, uh, let's let's uh, uh, let's map a routing, a new route that will allow me to navigate to OMDB. So OMDB, and this will be the. The, it will go into the OMDB component, OMDB, uh, there's no OMDB test, no, did it declare it, it didn't declare it, why didn't you declare it, uh, in the modules, oh there it is, OMDB test component, it is there, why doesn't it find it? Paste. Okay, found it. Okay, import it. There we go. All right, so it imported the OMDB. Uh, so now, if I uh, restart, if I restart uh, and uh, ng serve, uh, if I navigate to slash OMDB, it'll take me to that component. Okay, so it's a plain vanilla component. Right? There's nothing special about it. So if I navigate here um, to uh, OMDB, OMDB, it just loads OMDB test works. Okay. All right. So let's play around with that. Uh, so let's go now to the component and to the template. So the template right now just says OMDB test works. It was not very exciting. Uh, so let's change that to uh, OMDB. API test. Okay. So, okay, that's where we are. Uh, and um, what I'd like to be able to do here, just to try it out, um, I'd like to be able to see if we could hit that 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 URL. Right. Uh, so let's um, um, let's create here an input field uh, that uh, you can type the uh, movie title. Uh, and an input field here, uh, input, uh, which is a, mo uh, a model, ng model, 
that will map to a component uh, field called title. Right, and let's paint this a little bit. Control, there we go. Um, let's see. There it is. So we're going to type the title in there, right? And maybe give a hint of what we want there, placeholder, something like Batman. Okay? And then we need maybe a button uh, that if we click on it, uh, it'll search movie and we'll pass the title as an argument. And this will paint this as a button, button primary, and button block. And this will say search. All right? All right, awesome. Uh, so, so let's implement this in the controller, in the, in the component. Let's go back to the component, and let's uh, implement it right here. This will be the title as a string, and the function search a movie. Is that what I called it? Is that what I call it? Search movie. Yes. Okay. Uh, so what this should do is go out to some service, some client service on our end, that they'll talk to a server service, but are on OMDB's end. This is not going to go out to my server because I am not OMDB. Instead, it's going to go out to OMDB server. Okay. Uh, so we'll need a service. Uh, let's create a OMDB service. So let's go to service. So new. The TypeScript service, we'll call this omdb, omdb .service client ts, uh, And in here, uh, we would like to um, declare an injectable service uh, called um, omdb service client that has a function such as um, something like um, you know, search movie by title and it takes us argument a title uh, and a string okay uh, and uh, it has the following URL and we have a sample of that URL which should look like there it is Right, uh, and we have the title right here. So I'm going to instead of putting hard coding Batman, I'm I'm going to instead plug in a title in there. Okay, right, and we're going to do a get. This request here, this request, if you look at the inspected, um, the network is a query. Uh, it's not showing. Why are you not showing? Oh, all. Oh. Uh, there it is, right? That's the query that went out right, as a get. There it is. That's request, and it comes back with a JSON object. Okay? All right. So we're going to do a get. We're going to need the HTTP is service. So we're going to need to inject that constructor. Uh, this is a private um, HTTP service. Inject for me the HTTP service. Okay, um, and because I want to do a, I want to return here, return uh, this.htp.get, the URL, and, um, and I need to also include here uh, import um, rxjs rx. Uh, and also, I need to, so I can do a map here. And there's a response that's going to come back as an argument to this callback function. Uh, and that response is going to be of type response. Uh, which is of type uh, here, type response from the same mod, from the same package. Uh, which we are going to parse as JSON uh, response.json. Okay? 
right? Now, from the client's point of view, from the component's point of view, I need to uh, register for this, right? I'm going to uh, inject it. For me to be able to inject it, I'm going to be, have to declare my new service as a provider. So this will be an OMDB service client. There it is. And it just, there we go. We loaded it. So now I can, in the constructor, I can ask for that service. Dot, uh, this will be private. Um, uh, OMDB service of type OMDB OMDB service okay and now I can use it I can say this dot OMDB service uh, search movie by title and I'm gonna pass you the title as an argument and I'm gonna subscribe to the callback function and hopefully at some point you're going to return to me some results Result, uh, which is some amorphous schema that I'm not familiar with, uh, and I'm just going to send it to the client. I'm just I'm just going to send it uh, to the uh, to the component uh, to the uh, templates. I'm going to say um, it's a it's a, a, a result. Uh, it's some amorphous object. I don't know the I don't know the the schema of that object, right? Um, if I want, if I want to do validation, and whatnot, I would actually look uh, at the schema here, right? And I would create a schema for this. I would create an, an, a model object, a class to represent this locally. But let's keep it simple. So I'm just going to say this dot result equal result. Okay. All right. And and uh, just to, just to look at it to see what comes back. Just to sprint to the console. Right. Um, all right. So let's see. Let's go. Uh, let's um. Let's go back to my here. Um, okay. And let's look at the console. See if we get anything. So say if I type Batman, and click on search, nothing happened. Uh, did I did I name this correctly? A search movie uh, and on the template I called it search movie that is correct title um, are we even here console.log search movie are we going in there at least no we're not even going oh we are Oh, there we go. The response came back. I just I was too impatient. Sorry. Uh, so there. So he comes back with seven results. And what? Olympia Dukakis? That look, doesn't look right. Uh, looks. Let's look at the network. What? What did? What did we send? My goodness. Uh, all. Uh, S. Oh, S undefined. So it looks like our title somehow got lost in there. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. Uh, placeholder. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. What? The website here. Yeah, you haven't written anything yet. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's um, clear this and actually type something. Batman search. Okay, went out. Uh, it came back and indeed comes back with 300. Uh, results of which uh, the first 10 are displayed here, right? Uh, so, so we could now perhaps iterate over them, right? We could say a ul a class, a list group, right? And then just iterate over them one at a time uh, and do, a, just do an ng4 uh, that uh, iterates over a movie um, of uh, we have results, results. Is that what we called it? Result? Results. And if we look at the response, actually it's under the search. The array is under search, right? Is it search? Wait, Batman? What well, comes back? Yeah, so, all right, so it's under search. And then we get the, we want to display maybe the title. All right, so let's display. So this result dot 
search, search, right, and display here uh, the movie dot title, something like that. Oh, search. Can't type. Search. Uh, let's try it. Batman. So there it is. So Batman begins. Batman, Superman, Dawn of Justice. And why is this not displaying nice? Oh, okay. This is probably class, a list group uh, item. Uh, that if we type uh, avatar, comes back with all the avatar movies um, listed there. Right? Uh, so, so ideally, you could you can then now perhaps make a link here with a cog, right, or some select uh, that would use the other API, so that uh, because part of the object that comes back, part of the object that comes back is the ID. See that? And you can use that ID uh, so that when you click on any particular movie, it goes and fetches the details of that movie because this is a rolled up summary of each one of the records, but if you want more information about, you know, Batman versus uh, Don, you know, Superman, you can grab the ID, right, and can use the other uh, uh, query, which is uses I equal, and then the ID, right, comes back with much more information, like the writers, directors, the runtime, uh, an image po for the poster, you can click on that and you can, you can render a poster. Uh, it has the ratings for from Rotten Tomatoes. Wow, 27. Yep. Uh, I think it has a plot too somewhere. Yeah, it has a plot, right? And so you can you can you can you know uh, be more specific on what you can display. Make sense? All right. Awesome.